Like all women, she needs a husband to make her complete. <laughs> but she must be careful. Before she reaches the end of her journey, she must walk through the minefield of caddishness. <laughs> Men are not always as they seem. Hello. You're a pretty little thing, aren't you? He seems nice. Yes, but don't get married yet. Prod a little further. I wondered, do you like the music of Mozart? Yes, I do. Would you care to come to the cinema with me on Monday? Gosh, I could make it on Monday. And yet I hear alarm bells ringing in my head. Yes, his appreciation of Mozart was a hideous fib. In his eyes, you're only suitable for a sordid encounter in a dark cinema, where he secretly desires to take diabolical liberties with your knees. I'm afraid I'm busy on Monday. Damn and blast! To hell with you, then! I'm off to knife a pensioner in desecrated church. <laughs> See, he wasn't right for you, was he? No. But wait, here comes another. I find you uncommon beautiful. <sighs> oh, dear. You know what to do, don't you? Yes. That's right. Strike the toothless foreign type savagely into the dirt. <laughs> oh, I'll never find a husband. It's all so unfair. <laughs> you are a silly thing. Now you're getting hysterical. Here. <laughs> there. Better? Yes. Thank you. Wait a moment. Who's that bookish-looking chap with the kindly face? Go and hover near him. Perhaps you can entrap him with your complexion. How do you do? My name is Charles. How do you do? I'm Sicily. Have I disturbed you? No, it's all right. I was just writing a check for the poor. That's awfully nice of you. Oh, I don't know. When you're terribly rich and a keen member of the Church of England, as I am, it's important to show a little modesty and compassion to those less fortunate than oneself. Oh... 